Welcome back, ladies and gents, Hush Gardeners. This is my uh, latest video project, and it is based on the Arduino Nano Pulse Induction Metal Detector Project by George Overton from the Geotech Forum. Let's take a look at the printed circuit board. All right, so here's a uh, shot of the board. All I have placed on it so far are some of the headers and I think it's time to get soldering so I'll sh show you what it looks like at the end of the first stage all right guys welcome back Hush Gardeners uh, this is the power supply video for the Arduino Nano pulse induction detector so uh, on screen you can see right here my um, oscilloscope channel 1 probe and this yellow clip is the ground connection so on ground we have test point 1 and test point 2 is what the uh, oscilloscope probe is connected to and we're going to look at the transmit pulse on the oscilloscope. I'll show you that next. All right, you can see on the oscilloscope there all the relevant information. We have a pulse width of approximately 50 microseconds and a period of uh, 990 microseconds everything's there for you laid out on the screen so we are going exactly or fairly close to um, the build document in the book by George Overton let's look at the power supply itself now okay here's a look at the power supply and I have my multimeter leads hooked up there. You see the black lead right here. It's on the ground reference, which is test point one. And my red lead is on test point three. And in that configuration, we should get minus five volts. I'll swing you over to the multimeter, and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so that's what we're looking at right there for minus 5 volts. That's test point 1 and test point 3. Now let's look at test point 4 and test point 1, which will be the plus 5 volts, which is being produced right on the Arduino. So there's our, our plus 5 volts coming directly off the Arduino. And I'll swing back to the printed circuit board and we can see the placement of the probes so once again black on ground reference and red is on test point four take a quick look at the uh, schematic and we'll be done for this episode all right as I said we're going to take a brief look at the uh, portion of the schematic that we just completed the work on today and that is the power supply portion um, you can see the chip here is a ICL 7660 and it is set up as a voltage inverter so we're getting the five the positive five volts for this circuit from the Arduino Nano over here. You can see we have our positive voltage here coming off pin 27 and that's supplying, I think it's approximately half an amp. Okay, um, our voltage reference, ground reference is test point one and that is battery negative all right something to uh 
keep in mind as we switch back and forth between these projects some are use a ground reference of negative and some use a ground reference of positive battery so in this case it's it's negative um, here we have test point one is where we hook our ground leads to and test point four is for the plus five volts test point three down here is for the negative five volts and I think that's about all there is to say about this um, once again in if you don't have a 7660 you could use a, um, a 1054 that's good for 15 volts that's it thank you for joining me and let's move on to part two